No life is lived without conflict. No goal is accomplished without obstacles. You were born with the power to resolve conflict, overcome obstacles, and force yourself past discomfort to reach your goals. That power is resilience. To tap into that power, you must become a master of your thoughts, a steward of your words, and a person of action. Our minds can be an endless source of noise. Unregulated thoughts swarming in our heads are the source of inner conflict. Therefore, regulating the mind is a critical first step to building resilience. How do you talk to yourself after a failure? What thoughts do you hold on to when you face disappointment? What do you tell yourself when you're alone? The chatter in your mind can either build you up or break you down. Resilience starts with replacing self-criticism with self-affirmation. There is no value in calling yourself name. Your soul isn't nourished by pointing out all your mistakes and failures. The existence of flaws is evidence that you are alive. The existence of failure is evidence of your effort to grow. Speak to yourself kindly. Affirm yourself the same way you would a small child learning to walk or to read. That affirmation will build your confidence and courage to keep going forward despite the challenges you face. As you develop a more constructive inner monologue, be intentional about using language that empowers you. When talking about tasks that are beyond your abilities, replace I can't with I struggle with. When discussing the future, speak on your best hopes, not your worst fear. Life and death is in the tongue. Speak life. The final crucial step in activating your resilience is to take action. Your life will be filled with tasks that you don't want to do. But every time you take focused action, you fortify your resolve. The best way to overcome procrastination, disappointment, anxiety, and fear is to act. Your life will be filled with tasks that you don't know how to do. Tasks that go beyond your present ability. But everything was beyond your ability at some point. At one point, you struggled to walk and talk and count and read. The truth is, none of those things came easily, but you didn't quit. You just kept doing. Somewhere in the process of growing up, we lose that childlike resilience. Get back to that place. Be curious about how to get things done more than how you will perform. Be focused on the task in front of you more than the outcome. Act more than you evaluate. Let one word be your mantra. Do. And remember, planning is a form of doing. To take action doesn't mean to abandon wisdom. Resilience exists in you. It's your superpower. Resilience is the key to creating a life filled with confidence and accomplishment. To tap into resilience, remember to mind your thoughts, watch your words, and do.